Hi everyone. Hello. This is the M of the M and H, Melissa, here to continue on my conversation with you about sister locks. Um, this time, I want to talk to you about the facts, um, facts that would help you make an informed decision about whether you want to get sister locks installed or not. Um, and the information I give you is based on our personal experience, Uget and myself's personal experience on wearing sister locks, which we have a combined uh, nine and a half years experience of wearing sister locks. And also, as trained consultants, because Uget and I work together, um, when we retighten and install our client sister locks, we have discovered certain things that we think would help you in getting the answers you need to help you make a decision about sister locks. Um, but first, let me tell you about my hair. I've got it down from it being tucked in and twisted in. And this is what it looks like now. I've got the glitter through it. You know I love glitter. And I've got a little butterfly accessory in it. And I've got the front still tucked in. I, I left the front tucked in because I didn't want to um, have my hair in my face through the day as I work. But um, it feels like single plaits, really. Little twists or little plaits little braids in my hair let me show you the other side this is it my hair is five and a half years old and i have a slow growth cycle so um I, that's another that's a tip for you those of you who are thinking about um having sister locks installed um be patient because your growth cycle might be different from um, another person's growth cycle and you have to work and enjoy your hair as it is because we cannot predict how your hair will lock the length of time it will take to lock mine took a year um, it gets my business partner um, it took hers her almost two years and um, we can't predict the the how quickly your growth will come through mine comes through every eight, eight weeks I have to retighten my sister locks and other people it's every six weeks so don't look at your hair and other people say and think they are the same. It will not. Your hair length might be after three years, might be way past what my hair length is. But just be patient and work with your hair. Um, a fact you need to know when you're deciding on getting sister locks installed, it is true. No oils or no conditioner. It softens all those products, soften your locks. And after paying the amount of money you're going to be paying for your sister locks, you definitely do not want to be putting something through your hair that's going to create your lock to soften and unravel. So do what you're told to do. Shampoo your hair with a sister locks product and um, be patient. It will take a year maybe or plus, just be patient, it will come. And your lock will be thin initially, work with that. Um, and then it will thicken and then it will settle like mine has um, into the, the basically it will settle into being in, 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 in kind of intermediate um, thickness and fullness. But well, that, that's it really. Work with your hair and be patient and then you can enjoy it. Allow three days to get your sister locks installed. Um, the first day we just part. We part because it's very important when we're styling your hair for the lines to be straight. So be prepared to sit and get it parted for a long time. We have to get it right. This is important. Then two days after the first day it's being, it's parted two days of getting your hair locked up um, and it's locked up with a certain interlocking pattern dependent on your curl type and that might change after years locked up um, the consultant or we decide well let's change it up a bit and make your hair a bit fuller so there's a bit more movement so um, yeah just allow the three days allow four hours retightening you get an eye try and half the time because we work together but I would say it's a commitment so allow know that you're going to have every six to eight weeks four hours sitting where you're going to you're going to be pampered your hair's going to be tightened your hair should not hurt after you have retightened your hair if you need to take painkillers this is not a good thing it means something is going wrong and your follicles aren't enjoying this experience so if you feel that's the case get in touch let's talk about it it might be something that we can help you with um your hair basically should your your lock shouldn't be also shouldn't be thinning at the base and the answer is not to join it yeah we you get in touch if you feel that your lock is thin at the base but mine used to be thin at the base that's because that's i retired my hair myself and so i stopped because it wasn't a good idea 
but um, sometimes it snags the way the way you tighten it, so that causes the hair loss and the weakening of the locks at the base. So it should be all one size, and as I said, if it's thin at the base, let's talk about it. All our contact details are going to be put through this posting and at the end. Um, and that's it for now, I think. If there's anything else that I need to add, I will gather all your questions and your experiences, and then I'll do another posting, putting it out there to share. Please continue staying connected with us because we want to continue to learn. That's very important. We want to learn and we want to share. The message today is, if you want to get sister locks, research it, be patient, and enjoy every stage because it's a long journey. Take care, everyone. Thanks for listening. Bye. Thanks for listening and watching. Bye.